Chris Crow. We are advanced Cicerones and Beer Scholars, and we are doing another comparison of some classic styles. Uh, this one, uh, real doozy. It's tough, turns out. We usually just sit here and discuss it amongst ourselves a little bit before we go live and start recording, but this one's like so tough, we just figured, let's just have this discussion. Let's just dive in. Let's, let's untangle right it in. together. Yeah, yeah so... We've got the classic Saison here, DuPont, and we've got one of the classic triples, St. Bernardus. And so Saison, you know, one of the most broadly defined of all styles in the entire BJCP. Uh, it can be pale, it can be amber, it can be dark. Um, some of them are pretty hoppy, other ones not quite as much. And the BJCP even divides um, oh, them in strengths. It's strength, strengths. Yeah, yeah, there's like table saisons. There's the normal kind of saisons and super. What do they call them? Super. They call them. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Super saison. Super saison. They don't say like imperial saison or anything. It's super saison. How are there not a bunch of American craft breweries making super saisons <laughs> and naming them as such? But uh, yeah, so so saison, you know, being a sort of you know considered to be a farmhouse ale, I think a problematic term, but whatever, a farmhouse ale, um, you know, made by farmer brewers back in the day in the, the French and Belgian countryside, they were brewing with whatever they had kind of on hand. And so you had this very broad um, gr bunch of uh, types of Saison. So hence the very broad definition. Um, with triple, it's a little more dialed in in terms of the definition of the style. But with Saison, at least, you know, one of the things that you're always looking for is that phenolic um, yeast character. You know, usually described as, I think of it as black pepper. Some people say white pepper. Um, so it's usually kind of phenol-driven instead of being ester-driven, you know, fruit-driven. And um, pretty much always dry, I can't say honestly that I've had a bunch of the super strength kind. Yeah, even then though, they're going to be very well attenuated. Yeah, you know, so it's they always should, well should finish nice and dry. Yeah. So anyway, all that all that aside, we've got like the classic prototypical example here that is the kind you would get if you were ever to, um, you know, get it in a blind tasting on an exam or something like that. Anyway, since saison is such a broadly defined category. I think a lot of people actually define it by this beer. So oh, it's nice to just drink it in relation to this one. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely when people say Saison, they're talking about DuPont. Um, according to the BJCP, though, you know, it's a universe of possibilities. Yes. Um, anyway, right, you know, the triple also has... Well, why don't you take it away on the triple? Well, you know, in general, you think of triple as, um, you know effervescent highly carbonated also like a complex fermentation character but it should have a little bit more of a balance between ester character and phenol character mm -hmm. so you do get maybe some lightly peppery lightly clove like you know stuff that's tough to tell the difference between the phenols presented in saison sometimes right but it does have a little bit of a signature palm fruit ester thing as well maybe light banana but like all around just way fruitier you know that's true you're definitely not going to get any i i don't think i've ever had a saison that had banana that's I, I i don't know that it says that in the that it's inappropriate in the bjcp but i would think that it would be and at least judging against this just definition of saison in a bottle definitely not you're right it, you know yeah there's not a touch of um of banana in this yeah, and there, there are situations where maybe Triple's malt character is a little more one note because it's sort of just like Belgian Pilsner malt, maybe some brewing sugars, you know, some um, pale sugars or something, whereas Saison, mm -hmm. being a farmhouse beer in nature, can have kind of a grab bag of grains um, right. depending on what's going on. Right, and brewers use brewing sugars in in big Belgian beers like, like a Triple to really affect its mouthfeel to thin it out and make it more drinkable. That's, that's, that's pretty much what it brings to the table. I mean, of course it adds alcohol cause it's just a simple sugar that can be fermented very easily and fully by the yeast. Um, and alcohol's gravity is lower than the gravity of water. So it ends up thinning out the body of that beer. 
I expected to be able to smell these and just be like, like it's obvious which is which. And it's not. It's not. And, you know, the visual clues don't help at all. Nope. And then you go to aroma and you're thinking that you could really pick it out. No, I think you kind of got to taste these ones, um, especially because, you know, the one thing we didn't talk about explicitly yet was the alcohol right. difference. You know, Cezanne DuPont is 6.5. St. Bernard's triple is 8. And... But Chris was just talking about how brewing sugars affect the body of the beer. So a higher alcohol beer could come off as maybe a little bit crisper or thinner than a right. lower alcohol beer that and, isn't brewed. In, and in they're a not using manner. sugars with, with the Saison. Yeah. And so which the body might not give you immediate clues sometimes or some confusing clues. Um, but yeah. So when I drank these, though, that's when I could tell kind of right away, not just not just because of the flavor differences, but because of that body difference. Yeah. The, incredibly, eh, maybe it's not incredible, I don't know. Saison, a notoriously very highly attenuated uh, beer with a very light body, very dry. Compared to a triple, it comes across as quite dry. Yeah. And the triple is, you know, if you compared it to any other beer, it may seem a little bit crisper, but... You know, when you're talking about two very, you know, pretty well attenuated beers, yep. the triple does come across as a little bit bigger yeah. in body, um, you know, which is mostly alcohol in this case. But Right. And we did a comparison uh, previously. Probably we'll post that one first. I don't know. I'm just going to say previously. Um, between a triple and a Weizenbach, uh, Vitus, uh, from Weinstefaner in particular, which is a pale Weizenbach, that also proved to be fairly difficult uh, to tell until you drank them. And in that case, it was a body issue that kind of gave it away as well. In that case, the, the triple came across as very dry. And yeah. this time, when we're doing the comparison with Saison and triple, now the triple's coming across as not particularly dry in comparison. You know, one thing that's getting a little bit easier as you sip on it, I think, is... Some triples can come across a little bit more bitter than they are because they're they're so dry, they're right. peppery, um, you know, high in alcohol. Um, but the Saison Dupont is just got a more bitter punch. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's inclusive of hop flavor and just finish. Right. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I would say Saison is the hoppiest of of Belgian styles. Yeah, I think the only trick in terms of bitterness is like Trappist and Belgian single, which we right. don't really get like the I think BGCP says you can go up to forty five IBU on those. Mm. But they're <laughs> but good luck finding one. But yeah, at least yeah, in we, the US. We we can't really get the classic examples of, yeah. of those that are listed. But yes, I mean for sure can Saison considered one of the hoppier at the high end of all the Belgian styles. Right. So um, and it comes it comes across in the tasting. Maybe, right. maybe it takes a couple of sips, but that's why this one's we're saying, you know, maybe aroma is not doing it for you. Not like an instant giveaway. Yeah. So di dive in after a couple of sips, comparing them. It's like, oh yeah, I'm really getting both that just like kind of grassy, dry finish on um, Saison Dupont, and it's just more bitter. Yeah. Even if. Triple comes off kind of bitter, so he's on DuPont. More yeah, bitter. so yeah. Yeah, the highlights for me are, once I really get them in my mouth, the DuPont does come across as a little more heavy on the phenols, um, on that peppery phenol. It comes across as a little less fruity. and But most of all, the, the really big, like, immediate giveaway is it's just drier and hoppier. You know, two things that really work together, of course, to make the beer uh, come across as crisp and fit and finish dry. So, yeah. Um, and I don't know if we talked about it explicitly, maybe, well, I'll just be repeating myself, but there is like a pear apple thing right. in the triple. Right. So I would say Saison is definitely balanced in terms of fermentation character dramatically toward phenol character. Right. You can get little pangs of lemon, you know, sure. in there and stuff too, but it's like, that's kind of a phenol show. Right. And then triple is a little bit more of a balance, but definitely more, you know, apple, like fresh, freshly bitten into pear. Right. Um, you yeah. Know, and a little kiss of banana. Yep. 
Saison is one of those styles that has a special yeast strain that is used pretty much only for making Saisons. And it is one of the most phenol forward yeast strains with that black pepper or white pepper. So that's, that's it. That's the giveaway. So if you got this blind on an exam, uh, either of these, and you were presented with multiple choice answers or whatever, that one of which was Saison and one of which was uh, Belgian triple, I would say look for body, crispness, dryness, and look for heavier phenol, uh, focus on phenols. That makes sense to me. If you're picking the fruit out of your sample, that that might lean triple. It's all about where the balance is. Yep. Balance toward phenols or balance towards ester character. That's going to be one of your biggest clues for sure. Well, I think uh, I think we just found ourselves another really difficult, uh, ver- you know, uh, like blind tasting to do later. I mean, as as always, it's easy when you see yourself pour it. Yeah. But it'll be really interesting to do this one blind. Cheers to practicing, though. Yep.